Let me ask you, Michael, or, or Mr. Gilbo, if you're going to take that position, are you also taking the position that we're not going to do the rezoning for two years? I'm confused. No, I'm not saying that at all. Because a condition of the rezoning is for the developer to work on the 13 additional elements and have the town satisfied with those conditions and those design guidelines within two years. The other condition is if you don't satisfy the town, your project basically achieves a moratorium status where you can't develop more than 5% of the residential nor 15% of the non-residential. That again is another real stoppage in the governor on this project. I, I think it's a remarkable opportunity to really work in conjunction with a developer and to get a very good product that will apply town-wide. I don't disagree with you. I'm just, again, simply suggesting that I have a substantial amount of experience working with um, developments like, well, not necessarily like this, but developments really around the country, particularly around the southeast, when they come through and the, the development of these design guidelines are, this is not necessarily a very onerous document to be able to pull together. Maybe we can look at some examples of other communities. Yeah, I've got probably four or five sitting in my laptop right now. <coughs> We're doing projects down in Bluffton, um, Bluffton just outside of Hilton, and they are the masters of the plan development. So they've had a massive amount of very large projects occur there. I can show you what they look like um, and, and sort of the elements that they can pull together to be able to do that. I think it's reasonable. Well, well, but you, get, you have to decide. We still need to work on the board. This is not what they do. Yeah. But to me, this is something completely different, and it won't take a long time. I mean, it will be hard work, but it won't take two years. It's basically just filling in the gaps. Um, the, the plan, this kind of uh, from China Park, is very vague, and we talked about it needs to be more detailed. And this is just creating that intention and creating that vision. And it's not writing ordinances. It's just saying, this is what our intention is, this is what we intend to do, and having it in writing say that it is not rewriting the town's ordinances, but as Mr. Lewis clearly stated at the beginning of his uh, presentation, that master plan is the ordinance for the project. It will be, unless that, ordin that master plan does not state specifically a design element of the project, that design element will be governed by the ordinance of the town. But if it does specifically say something other, it addresses the same issue that the ordinance is trying to address. If it's in that master plan, the master plan rules. So these are actual ordinance items. They can be considered that way. And when I look at just one item, tree protection and landscape, I know that can, I know that can be very, uh, that can get into the weeds, part of the pun, very quickly. And I think we can talk about how do we protect trees? What diameter trees do we protect? What species of tree, trees do we protect? How close can you get to a tree? How much area does it take for a healthy tree to grow? Um, if you preserve more tree area, do you get credit for it and have to plant less? There are so many nuances to it that I, I know we're going to have to deal with. And if we allow this project to do something that's not well thought through, apply it to 7,000 acres of the town's jurisdiction, then arrive at a better standard, a more desirable standard for the UDO, we give away 7,000 acres that doesn't have to adhere to the good idea we have. And I think it's going to take some time to do this. So I want us to find the best solution and I think getting two years time to work through the issues. You said yourself, a UDO is going to take two years. Well, if they're working on the UDO with us, we're working on their UDO at the same time. I think we have a good chance of coming up with a very good product for that development and the town in general. Yeah, the only thing I'd add to it is that, as you probably know, they can work a lot faster than y'all can. Well, so we think we've addressed that as well. <laughs>
Can you speak to the phone? Thank you. 